In mathematics, especially in real analysis, the Bolzano Weierstrass theorem, named after Bernard Bolzano and Carl Weierstrass, is a fundamental result about convergence in a finite dimensional Euclidean space r to the power n. The Bolzano Weierstrass theorem is a crucial property of the real numbers discovered independently by both Bernard Bolzano and Carl Weierstrass during their work on putting real analysis on a rigorous logical stability. It was originally referred to as Weierstrass theorem until Bolzano's thesis on the subject was rediscovered. Bolzano Weierstrass theorem for sequences are this theorem also known as the sufficient condition for the existence of a limit point of a sequence. The statement of this theorem is every bounded sequence has at least one limit point. Let the sequence AN be a bounded sequence and capital S be its range. Yes, capital S is equal to set of all elements of the sequence AN where N belong to N. Since A n is bounded, S is bounded. Consider the sequence A n is equal to minus 1 power n whose elements are minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, so on. Every term of the sequence is either 1 or minus 1. Therefore, you can write minus 1 less or equal to A n less or equal to 1. That is, an is bounded. And what is S? S is the range of the sequence. What is the range of the sequence? The range of the sequence is nothing but the distinct elements of the sequence. The distinct elements of the sequence. How many distinct elements are there in the sequence? It has only two. What are they? Minus one and one. Therefore, this S is a range of the sequence A n which is equal to minus 1 comma 1. Therefore, if you see this, S is also lie between minus 1 and 1 inclusive of minus 1 and 1. That is, S is bounded. Consider another example. The sequence A n whose nth term is 1 by n, which has elements 1, 1 by 2, comma 1 by 3, comma 1 by 4, so on. Here, every element of a n lies between 0 and 1, including 1. Including 1. Therefore, a n is bounded. a n is bounded. What is its range. What's the range? The distinct elements of the sequence is known as range. But here the range set is same as the sequence because all the elements are distinct here. All the elements are different. Therefore, in this case, the range set is same as the sequence a n. But here, the range set is finite. In this example, the range set is infinite. And hence, S is bounded because every element of S lies between 0 and 1, including 1. We have two cases. As we discussed in the example, the range set is finite or infinite. The case one is 
let the range set be a finite set then that x is a real number l such that there a n is equals to l for infinite number of values of n belong to n look at this case 1 Case one is s is finite. Here s is finite. Now see here a n. What is a n? Equal to one for infinite number of terms of the values of n. Values of n. Therefore, one is a limit point. Similarly, a n equal to minus one for again an infinite number of values of n where n is odd in that case. Therefore, one and minus one are the limit points of the sequence minus 1 power n thus if s is a finite set then there x is a real number l in that case either 1 or minus 1 such that a n, a n is equal to l for infinite number of values of n where n is a natural number therefore given epsilon given epsilon this a n belongs to l minus epsilon l plus epsilon that is the terms of the sequence we have infinite number of terms of the values of n which lie between the open interval l minus epsilon and l plus epsilon what is the open interval l minus epsilon and l plus epsilon that is the neighborhood of l neighborhood of L. Therefore, given epsilon, a n belong to the neighborhood of L for infinite number of values of n belong to n. That is every neighborhood of L. Every neighborhood of L. As epsilon value changes, the neighborhood of L also changes. So, every neighborhood of L contains and infinitely many terms of the sequence a n hence by the definition of a limit point here l is a limit point of the sequence a n thus if s is a finite set then we have shown that l is a limit point of the sequence a n what is case number two case number two is the set Yes. What is yes? The range of the bounded sequence will be infinite. Case number two. The range said yes be an infinite set. Since yes is an infinite bounded set by Bolzano Weierstrass theorem for sets. For sets. Yes has. The set has at least one limit point let us call it as L now L is a limit point of S this implies every neighborhood of L contains an infinite number of elements of S by definition of a limit point but each element of S is a term of the sequence a n. Look at this. This is the set S which is infinite. 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 Here, what is S and what is sequence a n? Both are the same. Both are the same because every term of the sequence a n is distinct, is different. And the hand, this S is being infinite infinite here the set s is same as the sequence a n that is each element of s is a term of the sequence look at this each element of s is a term of the sequence a n so each element of S is a term of the sequence A N. Therefore, every neighborhood of L contains every neighborhood of L contains an infinite number of terms of the sequence. 
terms of the sequence a n this implies l is a limit point of the sequence a n thus whether s is finite or infinite L is a limit point of the sequence and hence this proves the theorem.